hi everyone welcome back to my channel today is sunday the 11th of april and just now at the house i thought i would talk you through our bathroom renovation plans because this was not even something we were considering up until last week but i need to put this mask on sorry because it's very dusty in this house and if you hear background noise i'm sure you will hear it is jazz stripping wallpaper so the bathroom is a room that I don't think I've shown you in any video yet because it is just awful. I cannot explain to you how disgusting it is. It, it, it's more disgusting now because obviously the builders have been working in there and like doing their business or whatever. It's gross. It was always never very nice. The toilet's a bit broken. The previous owners probably didn't clean the toilet for about 10 years. It's vile. The shower head hasn't worked for years because apparently it's seized up because of lime scale. But that's all very minor stuff that can be changed and you can clean it, it's just not to our taste. So we weren't thinking about getting the bathroom done and now we are. It's so stressful for me to even think about because this stuff takes so much time. I haven't even thought about what I want, like what sort of fittings, colour scheme, where I want the toilet, none of that. And I'm still, I'm like going through this whole process with kitchens at the moment and to add bathrooms to that is just so stressful, but they need to know if we're gonna do it, like kind of by this week, next week, whatever, next few days, because then it just saves them doing double the work for the pipe work. And initially, me and Jas were gonna live with the bathroom even though it isn't to our taste just clean it all up obviously but having seen the mess of this property now and just what a state it's in at the moment it's fine are you trying to get past me okay so we weren't going to get the bathroom done but having seen the state of this house it's fine at the moment we're not living here but Imagine this mess when you're living here, right, Jess? Yep. Copy anyone? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be like, really messy here. That's the thing. It's, they uh, will destroy our carpets. No way. They'll destroy maybe the plaster, the paint. Now, even ourselves, when we're trying to, if I try to be careful yesterday when I was doing the wallpapering, there's so much like this. It's hard to do. You just better. It's just filthy. Yeah. And yeah. so my mum was saying to me, as was my gran, just do it. Just put in a cheap toilet, a cheap shower sheep cheap everything not sheep and it's fine if it's not nice it's just done because then in the future you can <clears> upgrade to like the basin you want or the nice stuff and they've got a point haven't they yeah clearly yeah, i just realized now look that's gonna whilst all this dust is already here mm. you once we once because we're they can make as much mess as they want now i don't yeah, care they're going to clean up and but whatever we, we were thinking because like, if, if if the whole house is all done up for example right now all plastered and looking nice the bathroom doesn't it's gonna look odd and it is a mess already at the moment so mm. it just makes sense to do it now the whole yeah. thing yeah it does and it's massively going to eat into our budget. We hadn't planned for this at all, but everyone is just like, look, you know, a lot of people, they'll buy a house and then one year they'll do their bathroom and the next year they'll do their kitchen. And the following year they'll, I don't know, plaster their walls and whatever. Yeah. And obviously that's down to cost because like everyone would love to like do it all in one go, although it's very stressful. It's much less stressful if you do it like one thing yeah. a year. But you're kind of doing things backwards then because you know, he'll plaster our walls and I'll be like, oh, come in and do the bathroom. And then that might get ruined. And yeah. then it just that's makes pretty, sense. That's, that's why we're trying to do what we can. Like even like in terms of thinking forward about electric, oh. like cables, like running cables through, like in the oh, future. Alarms, we're hoping to, yeah, alarms continues. and that kind of stuff. Getting them done. We don't know which one we want right now, but at least get the cables done for it. Mm. Like feed them through the walls kind of thing. So it's all clean. Yes. Yeah, that's yeah exactly. So we can't actually afford the CCTV system that we want. Like we want like a really good one and an alarm system. Yeah. While the electrician's here, Jas has asked him to just <clears throat> basically do all the wiring to make provisions for the CCTV and alarm system yeah. to go in. Correct, and that includes like the doorbell. You wouldn't believe like because the doorbell itself's got the normal doorbell wires, you know, electricity ones. Like but a ring the, uh, when I was looking forward, you know, when you look online, a lot of them are like Ethernet, like internet ones, where you got the cable that you plug in. Mm. So I'm going to also feed that cable into into there. 
So we won't have the actual system for now, which is fine, but at least we have provisions for it. And then, because obviously once the house is all done and looking nice, then you won't have like wires on display when somebody comes to like, you know, wire It just stuff looks messy up. afterwards, doesn't it then? Yeah, you yeah. can't actually minute. Yeah. We're, we're literally cutting back on so much stuff just to be able to afford this bathroom. Like we thought we'd like put an alarm in, put the CCTV in, get underfloor heating. We've just scrapped all of it because I think we just need to get the essentials the essentials yeah just to be able to afford it we're even going to get our kitchen from ren i think we're not 100 percent sure because we can stick it on interest-free finance and hopefully like there's a bathroom company that does that i don't know i don't we can't stick everything on finance that's a very scary thing yep. actually we never i've never borrowed money really and that's just terrifies me but anyway let me stop rambling <laughs> I'm gonna show you the, I'm so embarrassed to show you the bathroom, but I don't know why. It's not even my bathroom. I didn't choose it or ruin it. Hold on. <laughs> so here we go. We have this like miniature door frame, which is really weird. I never noticed it until somebody else pointed it out. But this is like a regular door frame. Apparently this is not uncommon from a 1930s house. Now I have to be really careful where I step because there's wallpaper and there might be holes in the floor under the, I can't even, I can't even look at this Jas, it's so awful. So as you, well, you that's what I mean. That that answers your question. Means that you you need to get it done now, don't you? As in, like, there's no way. No, but if it's all cleaned up, obviously it's just dirty at the moment, and that yeah. can all be cleaned. And the tiles are not to our taste. Yeah, but that bath, that, the thing that was covered in the bathtub itself. Well, the they panel. they've got rid of that panel. Yeah, there was so a panel to hide yeah. the pipes, but that's all fine. They also had okay. This is obviously the bathtub, as you can see. They had a shower screen on the bath because obviously you shower in the bath it's not that big of a bathroom now we currently have a bath with a shower in it situation at the flat i don't love it um in an ideal world obviously you'd have a separate bath and a separate shower but the house is not that big <laughs> and so if i had to pick i would just scrap the bath and get a shower that's what i'm thinking the shower actually doesn't work apparently it's all full of lime scale and it must have seized up years ago so they must have just had baths i don't know it's really weird anyway this is a broken tile it just lifts up because the floorboard's missing which is fine because we know it's there but if we have people visit that's really dangerous if you accidentally slept on this side apparently that's quite a big job to fix and there's also a broken tile there so without going too far into the bathroom. Behind the door, we have a heated towel rail and this like very fetching cabinet here, which is quite ugly if I do say so myself. Um, we have spotlights. They are actually fixing these because for some reason, the previous owners had spotlights and then decided they didn't work and then put like a one of these lights in so i think we're just going to get all spotlights done it's just easier it's cleaner and less faff and so then here is our bathtub and there's the shower on this side let me go in oh it's so gross in here i can't even this is all terrible and this all needs to go as do these tiles i mean they're not they're not the worst tiles in the world, I'll give them that, but they're obviously not anything that I would ever choose. And then if I pan around to this side, we have a really big window. This window does open at the top there with a blind and um, a mirror thing that's all rusted. And they've obviously done something here. So this is the sink unit and they've put like different tiles here. So there's something obviously went on and they changed the sink. And then, oh, this is so gross. So they've also got another window here, which is a bit odd, because it's not even the same height. This one doesn't open. It's just very weird. And then they've got this whole like built-in toilet and sink unit. I'm not even gonna show you, because it is so, I can't even, it's so disgusting. That was the broken tile that was on the floor. Then we found new ones that match in the garage that they'd left for us. So we replaced it, but then we realized it's gonna break again. Whew, anyway. So, this is what I meant. These bath mats the previous owners left were white and the builder told us there was a flood, flood or an incident. I can't even think about it now. They're brand, it really grosses me out. It's so, so disgusting. And then above here is like a towel radiator holder. I, I, I'm not sure what this is called. Okay, I had to get out of there. I just can't. 
like I said, we weren't going to renovate it because yes, it looks awful, it's so disgusting now. That's just because the builders are working in there and doing their business in there. It can be cleaned up and it can be usable. We'll have to change a few things. And then my mum was talking to me about renovating the bathroom and I was umming and ahhing because I was like, this is just a lot of money and I'm just not sure that like we can afford it all because you have to have a contingency. This massively eats into our contingency and it's just a lot more stress. Like this is literally a full-time job. And I think it's fair to say, isn't it, Jas, that I'm the one that's project managing all of this. Oh yeah, you're definitely a project manager, yeah. yeah. And I'm but the one that's like can't... meeting with the builders yeah, and talking to them. Jas is dealing with all the alarms and the CCTV and the yeah, stuff. Yeah, the cool that... stuff, the gadgety stuff, you know. <laughs> he thinks it's cool, I just think it hurts my brain. And that's fine, because I'm delegating, you know? But the rest of it is just... Like, often I will agree something with the builders, and then me and Jas will come to the house, and he'll be like, what's this? I'm like, oh yeah, I signed him off on this. And he'll be like, what? Like, it's just easier, so... Yeah, definitely. It's just so stressful. Because Actually, it can be more firm than I am, yeah, with them, yeah. I can be. Yeah. They, I think they've figured us out. <laughs> no, because with me, obviously, because like, they're like similar age to myself. What? Like, it's a bit tricky, you know, you know how it is, like, you, if you, like, become your bros and that kind of stuff, you know, it's a bit tricky to kind of have a go at them or something. I'm not saying they've done anything wrong. No, I haven't had a go at them, which is good. No, but I think they're a bit more scared of you than me, right? <laughs> good. I love yeah. when people are scared of me. I love that. Yeah. It's power, isn't it? <laughs> no, but I think in life, whenever you hire people to do anything, people always prefer one person than the other. Yeah. Most times, I think... Most of the time, people prefer to deal with Jas because you're like the nicer one, the more yeah. friendly one. Whereas I'm like, this needs to be done. And I'm so organized, like to my own detriment. Yeah, even that guy who wasn't in the Ren Kitchen designer. What did he say to you? You're the- um... <laughs> He was like, are you an engineer or something? When, when, yeah, you're the boss or something or something like that. No, not because boss. Because I noticed but... details. And like, because like, for example, he like, he was doing this like drawing on Zoom, <clears> like, you know, when we were watching and he put the island in and I was like, wait, is that enough distance away so the dishwasher door opens? And he was like, you really don't miss anything, do you? And I was like, well, I'm buying a kitchen, I'm spending loads of money. How stupid would it be hmm. if your dishwasher doesn't open? He was obviously going to get to it. I got there first and like, just little things. Yeah, Paul Butter and York, wasn't he really? Before the sale. Oh, yeah, he was very, yeah. he's very salesy. That's a whole different story. Yeah, that's funny. But I don't fall for sales. I'm very like, I used to work in sales. So like literally hmm. nothing works on me, yeah. right? That's good. You could try and sell me something that I need and I still won't buy it. <laughs> and I'll like buy it of my own accord later. Anyway, whatever, whatever. This is about the bathroom. It's just... <sighs> yeah, well also, I'm the hoping... The reason I don't want to get the bathroom done yeah. It's because this whole stress of, like, I have two hour Zoom meetings with Ren. We've had like three for the kitchen so far, and apparently on average you have about eight. And it's just so long and mm. stressful. And I'm going to do that same thing with the bathroom with somebody else. It's just too much to think about. Like the builder said to Jas yesterday, he was like, have you decided, like, if you want a shower? Or like, what sort of toilet mm. you want? And I'm mm. like, oh my God, I'm thinking <laughs> about hobs on my island potential like what it's just too much yep and my friend Kirsty said to me actually she's um labels for lunch on instagram and everywhere she's also renovating a house at the moment and like i think we both started around the same time it's been really interesting watching her journey anyway she was messaging me and she was like don't let the haters get to you i'm not saying anyone's giving me any hate <clears> but she was like your arm hurt <laughs> no no but yeah that's weird isn't it it's like holding a weight in your arm like higher up but yeah <laughs> she was basically saying not everyone can renovate and people will always say to you do this do that you should have done this but they probably wouldn't have done it. You're gonna make mistakes, everyone makes mistakes. We're trying to learn from other people's mistakes when they tell us stuff, like family or whatever. Yeah. But she's right, like the stress. I don't think, like not everyone can renovate, right? No, that's what I mean. Well, I think we're, we're kind of lucky, I'm grateful that we've got this. We've got two well, places Well, no, we're, to... we're lucky that we have somewhere yeah. to stay. Yeah, that's we're right, yeah. We're lucky that we don't need to be living here. Because it's, I, I, can, I can't imagine how we would have done it. We can't, there's no way we could have moved anything in here. But get this done. Also, like this. what I mean is they don't have the ability. Yeah, that's like, true. Like, the, I'm not saying we have knowledge. You just learn so much along the way. You yeah. don't, I just have zero knowledge. I literally knew how to strip wallpaper and paint walls and that was it. But yeah, I just think it, she's right. It takes a certain type of person, maybe, 
and I'm a bit like no, it's a learning curve, isn't I'm it? At least you're in the army, I mean, like you do this, do this. It's one of those. Order. Yeah, I mean, we went to know. I mean, like things were different as well when I left uh, dinner renovation. That was actually at my house. You know, my where my parents live. Mm. Things were different then, you know. Like even like the party wall, that kind of stuff. That wasn't around then, you know. Oh, I think well, let's not talk about that. Uh, yeah. So that's not a new thing, anyway. Yeah. So things like that. Things come into law <laughs> since then. So mm. there's things like that to worry about, and obviously, um, yeah. But we'll get there. I think I need to get the wallpaper thing. Oh, the machine's right, the kind machine's of about to hissing go. at the moment. Yes. Yeah. But um, we're thinking of renovating the bathroom, and I'm stressed about taking on another project, yeah. as well as. The amount of money it will cost us. I feel like we're just pissing money at the moment. Like I'm not a big spender ever. Like I think we're doing really well. We we are not big spenders. We no, literally we never buy anything unless yeah. we splash out on holidays. No, we we're, we're, we're done really well with this. What we've been we have been watching our pennies literally. We're not been just going with the first thing we see. Mm. It's actually literally to the penny, isn't it? Well, I mean, I'm pretty good, but Jazz takes it to a whole new level. If there is a discount code to be found on the in the depths of the internet, <laughs> he will find it. If there is like free shit, like anything, people, like people we know always ask Jazz to be their personal shopper because he just finds the best deals. I'm pretty good, but I'm not as good as him. But <sighs> it's very stressful. Indeed. Now, when I had a meeting with the builder, he gave me some suggestions, but I would like to go to like one of those really expensive, like fancy bathroom places in London, get them to just draw it all up and like find me nice things that I can't afford and then just source them myself because <laughs> it's always cheaper. It's always better to source it yourself. And luckily my builder installs bathrooms and he WhatsApp me loads of photos of similar stuff he's done and I, that I think looks good. Not that I really know what I'm looking for. So, he suggested, I'm not going to go too far in, keeping the toilet here, getting a stand, obviously a nicer one, and keeping, getting a standalone basin vanity unit here, and just creating the whole of the back wall as a shower unit, which I think is great. The only downside is, he said the shower head should be on that side, so this window will need to be blocked up, which that bit isn't too expensive, but this is the only window that opens. This one doesn't open, and so we'll be left with this window, but he said we'll need to replace it to one that does open. So that obviously adds more cost into this. I said, well, why can't we have the shower head on that side and just keep this window, and then it's fine. He said from an aesthetic point of view, when you walk in to the bathroom, you can just walk straight and then walk into the shower. Otherwise, you're kind of squeezing around the toilet and depending on how far the new basin unit or whatever sticks out, you're kind of squeezing in. Do you, know, do you see what I mean? To like then get into the shower, it just doesn't look that great. And I actually have to say I agree with him. Yesterday when Jas was here, I wasn't. The builder was saying you could potentially move the toilet to here, but straight away I was like no because said you could have the shower here and then just block off this little window which is I'm more than happy to do and keep that one and have your shower head on this back wall sorry this back wall here but that does sound great and everything but I don't want the first thing you see as you walk into the bathroom to be the toilet like I just think that's awful the other thing is this morning I had another thought I'm very conscious about having as much storage as possible even in a bathroom because we don't have an airing cupboard and at home we have a linen cupboard and that is literally somewhere to store all of our towels and bed sheets and stuff like that i don't know where we'll put it in this house and so i don't know if like maybe they can create like if they block off this window and do all that stuff put the shower here the shower doesn't need to be the full length of the bathtub and then maybe build some sort of like cupboardy thing for stuff. Although, oh, I need to get back into this disgusting bathroom. Sorry, it's awful. One thing the builder did say to me, so first of all, from this unit here, as you can see, this wall sticks out a bit, which is just the way it is. Because actually behind this was our airing cupboard in the bedroom. And so he said, actually, 
this is a great spot for a towel rail because it doesn't stick out you don't really notice it yet you've still got your radiator and somewhere to put your towels because it's not as deep as that um little sticky inny bit i can't remember the word for it and so he said which was really interesting because actually i was going to say this to him if the shower goes on this wall the actual shower unit and he said because the airing cupboard is currently out at the moment he can create recessed shelves so I've seen these on Instagram and on YouTube and people usually have them alongside their shower so they'll basically put a fake wall in front of this wall I believe to then create a bit that goes in to put your products down but that would just make our bathroom smaller and I don't want to do that even though aesthetically it looks really nice there's just no point in making anything smaller in life this he said would be the perfect spot for it because we already have the depth and at the moment, they haven't plastered the bedroom at the back where the linen cupboard is. So they can make, easily make the recessed shelves. So then, so then you kind of walk in, you walk into your shower, you have like your shower head or from the ceiling or whatever, and you turn around, you pick up your products all along the back wall and happy days. But now I'm thinking, that means we can't get any storage in here. It's just like, oh, it's just, so much to think about and I'm not even sure if I can really handle the stress of it all. But equally it totally makes sense for them to do it now because the house is an empty shell. The builder and the electrician were saying to me this is like their dream project because they don't have to worry about making somebody's house dirty or you know accidentally breaking something because everything's broken currently. This is the back of where the current shower is in the bathroom and as you can see the shelves would be actually be quite recessed because otherwise it's almost a waste of that little width of a brick so anyway that's kind of our plan something to think about i thought i'd just put this video out there as just a standalone video in the middle of the renovation just to see what people think maybe you can give me some suggestions because that would really help me out you guys are like really helpful especially on instagram i've been posting like little snippets of stuff on my story and people have given me some really good advice i think a lot of you are either renovating parts of your house or you recently have done and it's been super helpful so thank you so much for all of that but just gonna continue stripping the last little bits of wallpaper hopefully he'll just be an hour or so i'm gonna go and like mark up some stuff and measure some stuff i'm gonna leave this video here thank you so much for watching and i will see you very soon with a new video hopefully in like a week or less <laughs> thanks for watching bye